Well, we've got Claire Holt here today. How are you? I'm well, thank you. How are you? It's so good to talk to you finally. Thank you. I'm really excited to talk to you. I feel like we've been kind of following your career from Sydney and Australia and here you are just plodding along, doing some amazing things. It's pretty nuts. It's amazing. I, sometimes I can't believe I live here and I get to to have a job. <laughs> it's quite nice <laughs> to be employed. When I first came out, I had about a year that I really had to um, bang on doors and try and get people to see me, so. Yeah, but I mean, you've, you've been on a lot of TV shows consistently. Yeah, I've been pretty lucky with that. Yes, right. haven't been fired yet. Now you just have a, got a new movie coming out yes. here in the States called 47 Meters Down. Yes. With do you Mandy like that metric Moore? system? I know, they didn't even do the feet. They did 47 meters down. I know, I understand it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so it's with Mandy Moore. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about it? So it's a film about two sisters who go cage diving uh, in Mexico on vacation and the cage breaks and drops to the bottom of the ocean. 47 and meters 47 down. 47 meters down. And they are stuck with about an hour of oxygen in shark infested waters where they can't ascend because they'll get the bends. And they don't know where they are. They don't know where the boat is and they don't know how they're gonna survive. Oh God, what was it like working with Mandy? She is the biggest legend you will ever meet. She's lovely and talented and so smart and literally everything that you imagine. I mean, I loved her from when I was much younger. Um, and meeting her, she just exceeded my expectations. Yeah, she's well, really you, wonderful. You guys actually seem to have a really lovely relationship because she raves about you Aww. as well. She's yeah, we really um, bonded over this experience, and, and being stuck together underwater for two months is a <laughs> pretty um, stressful experience. So you want it to be with someone who you know has your back and. Um, I, we really feel like sisters genuinely in, in real life. I, I couldn't have imagined a better partner. Oh, that's so nice. Mm -hmm. Did you have a favourite Mandy Moore song growing up though? Candy, obviously. However, <sighs> Only Hope from A Walk to Remember. Oh, that movie. I know. It's crazy. I used to beg her to sing it for me. She was like, Claire, I'm not doing it. No, she's so humble. And she would sing sometimes in her trailer and I would stick my ear to the door and just like listen like a creeper until she stopped. Ooh, there you go. Is that what you she got did? It. That's you not, would have just been like... She didn't actually do it like that, but... <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I can just see you like, I, I love it. Great. She's the best. Fantastic. She's the best, yeah. Now, you mentioned that you spend a lot of time underwater. Yes. Now, you're not that new to that. You're the first show that you did in Australia that was H2O, Just Add Water. Yes. I don't know if you guys remember it. Yes. But it was about mermaids, and you did it with fellow Aussie Phoebe Tonkin. I did. Um, did that kind of, all that training that you did back when you were a teenager help you in this movie? It definitely helped me to feel comfortable in the water. I thought it would help me more than, I, more than it did. I didn't have any scuba diving experience, so this was the first time that I really spent a significant amount of time on oxygen and at that depth. And it was tough. It was really physically exhausting and it was far more grueling than I expected. Um, I think I thought because when we were doing H2O, we were swimming a lot, we had those big heavy tails and we were holding our breath. I thought that that would be harder, but it wasn't. Wow. Doing the diving was much more difficult. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's great. Yeah. Well, it's a great experience it to is. get, you it's, know. It was definitely something that like, when we wrapped, both Mandy and I felt we absolutely accomplished something and we were proud of it and we were proud that we got through it and we survived and we didn't have some kind of terrible injury or <laughs> we didn't get the bends. I'm really excited for people to see it because I think it came out really well. Check out the trailer because it looks pretty scary. Yes. I actually couldn't even get to the end of the trailer because it freaked me out so It's much. really petrifying. I yeah. mean, to think about being, I think the far more terrifying idea, I mean, of course sharks are frightening, but being trapped underwater with an hour of oxygen is uh, like the prospect of drowning at the bottom of the ocean, I think is so, so terrifying. And so those two two components coupled together make it make you sit on the edge of your seat the whole time. Yeah, it's kind of like that, um, would I rather die drowning or getting eaten by yes, a shark? Yes, right. Hmm, which is less terrifying? I don't, I, I think I'd probably rather be eaten by a shark, to be honest. Yes, quick. Yeah, just like, done. <laughs> So sort of morbid. Watch your air run out. This is a lot more morbid than I thought I this interview was going to go. <laughs> let's talk about rainbows. Yes, I will. Well, actually, let's talk about mermaids because okay. you, when you got started, I want to go back to H2 a little bit. You were working with Phoebe Tonkin. I was. People still watching that show. Yeah. It's like still a really it's, big hit. It's pretty crazy. Um, 
because we, sh we shot it 12 years ago now, and it's sort of had this resurgence on Netflix. It's had a second life, and now they obviously have the spin-offs of Make Her Mermaids, and uh, there are some, there's one other one, I think. But um, it was such a wild experience because it was our very first job. Mm. We had no idea what we were doing. We didn't even know where to look. We didn't know what a mark was, which is this, the thing that you stand on when you're filming so that the camera gets you. We didn't, um, it was just such a crash course and doing that together was amazing because we really sort of grew up together and having the opportunity to work with her so many times like I have on the Vampire Diaries and the originals, it's, it feels like kind of a pinch me moment that yeah. we get to travel through our career together, you know? It's kind of crazy and I feel like that never happens because not only did you work on that show together, but mm -hmm. you both got to the States and then you were both on Vampire Diaries. And then the spin-off. And then you were both on the spin-off The Originals. Yep. I mean, that doesn't happen. Like two Aussie yeah. actresses no, I who think, knew well, each other. I think because we sort of spent a lot of time together when we were both, Phoebe did a different show called The Secret Circle whilst I was um, originally on The Vampire Diaries. So it was the same network and we were around the same sort of creators and I think we had such a great friendship that, you know, they were excited about it. And so, um, but moving on to the spin-off together was just so much fun and it was nice to have a buddy in Atlanta, which is where we filmed. And You're an Aussie, you know, there's got to be like that love of the sun. Heck yeah. I mean, playing a vampire, there's not really... Yeah, there's not a lot of sun. However, in Georgia, where we shoot in the... Oh, uh, crossover legs at oh, the same time. Oh, look at that! <laughs> it's just much just... Twins! <laughs> um, in Georgia, where we shoot, the summer is rough. Like, it is very, very hot, and, and the sun is very strong. And we do a lot of exteriors, so we kind of uh, dispel that whole vampires um, don't get tanned myth. Yeah. But we have this thing called a daylight ring that we walk around in with so we can go outside. What is that? And it's a, it's like a part of the mythology of the show where there's a ring that we can oh, wear. Oh, yes, okay. That we go outside. Okay. Um, you don't know the mythology of the entire show? What's no, going on? I'm sorry. <laughs> you know one of those super fans? I should actually <laughs> have asked one of your ins millions of Instagram followers oh. to tell me about it. Because there are, I mean, the fans are super fans. Like, these people love this show. Yeah, You're they're like a wonderful. teen queen. They're wonderful. They're just so supportive and they follow you. Uh, throughout your career and, and they support everything that you do and it's amazing to be able to have that social media connection with them and tell them how grateful you are and respond to them and engage with them. It's it's a really nice feeling. You've worked with some pretty amazing people. Yes. Who has been one of your favourite apart from Mandy? Mandy is absolutely uh, my favourite. But I did a show called Aquarius with David Duchovny and he is so great. He's such a legend. He is beyond talented and I just learned so much from him because um, he's been doing it for such a long time and he knows everything there is to know and he's so adventurous as an actor and he has great ideas and um, is really creative so that was probably one of my favorite experiences. What's next? I mean you've got the, you've had this great movie do you have any sort of other you've got a couple of other upcoming projects yeah going I, on I as have well. a, a few things um, in the pipeline obviously I love to always go back to the originals there's another season of that so I'm hoping to be able to do some of that this year um, but I'm also going to take the month of July off I think Whoa. and go traveling with my family and go to Europe. Yeah, I, I... Settle down. Yeah, I know. I feel like um, I. it's really important to have a work-life balance, I think, for everyone. And there's this need, I think, I feel as an actor to constantly keep working because what if it never comes again and I never get another job? But um, I'm going to take a little time and just explore the, the globe. Have a little I rest. I think you deserve yeah. that. I think, I think I might take a, about a one-week-long nap. Thanks for watching, guys. Here's a tip. Subscribe to The Hype to see all the latest in celebrity news when Hollywood hits our island home.